It's just a rock. Yeah, it, it's just a rock that, that somebody just painted with satin acrylic mm. paint, and then a, a varnish on it to steal it, or seal it. How much is that? Um, Two hundred and fifty dollars for that, the, for this big. You could do something like that. Dude, we could we could do stuff like this and get a lot of money for it. So we did. For the next week, we gathered supplies from really generic cheap places like thrift stores, hobby stores, and even out of the trash. Where did you get this thing? I found it in the trash just right down the street. I, I don't know, I uh, I kind of feel bad for doing this. I wouldn't really want to be left out in the trash and then written YOLO on, but I, I don't know what this is into. We pretty much just made what we'd seen on the internet and TV and stuff. None of the pieces were really original. It, it went by really well. It was, it was really fast. We, we got most of it done pretty easy. It only took like two or three hours. All we needed was a place to showcase it. Hi. Hi. I'm Dimitri. Oh, I'm Shane. I gave you a call last week about. Yes, work. yes. You said you had some work for me. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see it. That was really, really surprising. I, I thought it was going to go a lot worse than that. That was easy. <laughs> so you have a show tomorrow? Yep. You going to get your stuff done? Yeah, I, I think we'd be able to get most of it done in like a day, if, if even a day. With 24 hours to go, we made a list and put together a show based on what we could find. That's, that's how you know there's weird shit in McDonald's food. I, I've seen so many lonely Cheetos everywhere in, in the street near bus stops. <laughs> we just brought everything in and just finished it up. We, we found a bunch of stuff. Flipping there, yeah, over this. I fell in love. One of the most creative like uh, shows that I've been to recently. It almost moved me to tears, honestly. I think all the pieces are really coherent and relevant to this day and age that we're living in. It's insanely creative, and like I really love the social commentary that like fits into every piece. I was, like nods, I think, to other neo expressionists like Jean Michel Basquiat and all these other influence that I can really see in his work. So what did you learn from this whole experience? Basically how, how people can be so like gullible to believe if you label something as art. As soon as you convince them that this is something with value and intellectual depth, they're, they're really quick to just latch onto it and try to embrace it and convince themselves like it's almost subliminal. Like we're trying to just kind of escape through like uh, sickness and, and illness because that's everything that's around us and like people just escaping in their own ways and like through artwork like I totally saw it I totally saw it